designers welcome back to my channel my name is Maria and today we're going to do the front bodice from this book let's get into it all right designers the first thing that we're going to do is the full length the full length is 18 and 3 8 they want you to add 1 8 to that so the total will be 18 and a half my ruler is 18 inches so I'm going to add a half inch. The next measurement is across shoulder and that measurement is eight and one eighth. They want you to subtract that by one eighth, which is eight inches. That's right over here. From there, they want you to go down three inches. The next measurement is your sense of front. That's from here all the way up and it's 15 and 3 eighths from there they want you to square out four inches next measurement is your bust art that's from here all the way down it's 10 and 3 fourths they want you to add one fourth to that so your measurement will be 11 inches from there square up 11 inches The next measurement is your shoulder slope. That's from here all the way to here. It has to touch this line. So the measurement is 18 and a half. They want you to add one eighth to that. So the total will be 18 and five eighths. My ruler is only 18 inches. So I'm gonna add the five eighths. And that's right here. Next measurement is your bust depth. That's your shoulder to your nipple. That measurement is nine and seven eighths. So it's from the end of your shoulder to your nipple. Next is your shoulder length. That's from here all the way to here. It has to touch this line. So that measurement is five and a half. There's your five and a half right there. Next is your bust spam. That is your nipple. So it's from your sense of front to your nipple. It's four and a half. Next, you divide this in two from here to here. You divide it in two. And that would be three and five eighths. You can either take the paper and fold it, or you can take the measuring tape and fold it. And that measurement will be three and five eighths. The next measurement is across chest. That's from your center front all the way to the corner of your underarm. That measurement is seven and one eight. They want you to add one fourth, so that is seven and three eighths. Next is your dart placement. The purpose of a dart is to allow the fabric to be shaped so that the garment is fitted closer to the body. It's the extra fabric that's underneath your breast that you don't need. You want your clothes to fit on your body. So that measurement is three and five eighths. And the dart can be anywhere on the pattern. And it's right here. From there, they want you to go down 316. My marker is thick, so I didn't really have to do much. But when you're making these patterns, please use a pencil. It's much better for you. Next measurement is the new strap. That measurement is from the corner of your neck all the way to your side length. It has to touch that line. It's 18 and 5 eighths. They want you to add 1 eighth to that. So the total will be 18 and 3 fourths. My ruler is only 18 inches, so I have to add 3 fourths. Next is your side length. They want you to come out one and one fourth from the bottom, right here. And the ruler has to touch this. So you're coming out one and one fourth. 
and the ruler is going to touch the top. Right there. Now from here to here, they want you to put a straight line. The next measurement is your waist arc. What they want you to do is subtract that from the dart placement that you did earlier, which was three and five eighths. The waist arc is seven and seven eighths. They want you to add one fourth to that for ease. That's movement. So your total will be eight and one eighth. You take that eight and one eighth and you subtract it by three and five eighths and your total will be four and a half. That is your dart right there. So you start from here and your four and a half is right there. You make straight lines at those two points. That's going to be your dart. Now, whatever measurement this is, it has to match the other side to equal for the dart. So this measurement is eight and one fourth. You're gonna put eight and one fourth on the other side. Now for the dart, you never want to sew the dart right on your nipple because it's going to be pointy. You always go down 5 eighths, no more than an inch and no less than 5 eighths. So you put a dot in the middle of the dart and you connect it back to the first line. All right, designers, we're almost done. We're going to do the bottom, the arm, and the neck. So from here to here, you're going to curve. And you're going to do it on the other side. From here to the line. Now, for the armhole, it's going to be in two parts. It's going to be from here to here. Then it's going to be here to here. And this cannot touch. Next, you're going to do the neck. You have to do a right angle from here down. So the ruler has to touch this line right here. And that is your right angle. Now they want you to put one eighth right over here because the curve is going to touch that new line. I'm going to mark the final pattern in black so that you can see it without all those measurements. All right, designers, don't forget that this is a standard pattern. That means it doesn't fit nobody. You have to make it fit somebody. This is a size 14, the bust is 39, the waist is 30 and a half. So if someone comes to you with a bust of 38 and a half, 39, then you use this size, which is size 14. But if someone comes to you and is about 37, 37 and a half, then you use a size 12. Don't forget, each book has their own measurements. In this book, these are the measurements for size 14. If you want to learn a little bit more about patterns, check out this video right here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to practice, practice, practice.